Chronicle 2 of the Welcome to Cornville series. Now let's take a second and set the background. So we found an abandoned meth den that was basically just a warehouse full of dead cats, mattresses, and human feces. And we remodeled it and turned it into a family home over a very long and excruciating summer. More on that later. Anyways, it's 11 o'clock at night. I'm sitting there and the sliding glass door that we put in as a front door for other reasons, which will be explained later, comes sliding open. And someone walks in. It's my friend. Now this boy is wearing nothing but a black garbage bag. Nothing else. Like a t-shirt, right? Just a black garbage bag. And he got ashes all over his face. And I'm asking him, Yo, man, what's up? What you doing? You alright? He's carrying a Bible. He says he was having his own Easter celebration. And now I'm not sure what the fuck that means. But then he comes in. And he's telling me that he thinks the CIA is following him. And... In the off chance that they catch him, he wants to be sure that he can be tortured and sustain anything that they might want to know, right? So here, you know, it's 11 o'clock at night. I'm sitting in Cornwall. I'm thinking I'm bored as fuck anyway. And he decides that he wants to get tortured. So I took his ass out to the desert and I started putting bamboo shoots underneath his fingernails, beating a motherfucker with bamboo sticks. And we were having a competition, walking over hot coals when someone we knew from fucking kindergarten rolls up. And joins the party. Now, this is the kind of thing that we do out in Cornville. This is the kind of thing that is like a, you know, Tuesday evening. 